Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to use the Firefox or Fizzfo X um, audio apps so you can analyze some of those interesting sounds. Like, I hear a bird right now. Maybe that'd be something interesting I could try to get a little closer to and see what that sound wave um, looks like in graph form. But we're going to start with some simple examples here. First, um, you're going to open up the app. And we're going to start with audio scope. If I hit play, and I'm just talking, you'll see it gives me some waveforms. You might start with 10 milliseconds. I set mine to 100 milliseconds. And I can do something interesting like whistle. Hit pause. If I try to zoom in on that graph, you can see the, the waveform of my whistle. And it goes up and down. And I'll show you how to export that data to use later. The longer the duration, we can go up to 500 milliseconds, um, the more data we collect each snapshot. One thing I could try is maybe playing a note on a guitar. Just a simple note. A little bit more complex than my whistle. Or a chord. You can see that gives us something pretty interesting to look at. The next app I'm going to have you play with is called Audio Spectrum. So the cool thing about Audio Spectrum is that all those waves we were able to see on the audio scope, we can figure out what the frequency is, how quickly the wave uh, moves air molecules back and forth. So if I do my whistle again, you can see there's this spike on the graph. And that corresponds to a frequency, which we were seeing in the waveform before. You can play with the guitar again, or something you have that is worth investigating. Play that note. And we see there's actually a few spikes for that note. Maybe things get complicated if we try that chord. So now we got a funky graph. We can try to see what those peaks are. The last app I want to look at is called Audio Amplitude. Now, at the top of my screen it says not calibrated. If you can find a way to have a source of sound where you know the decibel level, how loud it is, you can actually calibrate this and we can compare sounds to each other. But instead, what we have to do is just compare sounds to um, each other within the same window. If I talk, you can see it spikes up. If I yell, it's going to spike up higher, but only a little bit higher, because the decimal, decibel scale is not linear. You can get a nice decay of my guitar sound through time, of course until I start talking. What you will be able to do is select a part of the data that you think is interesting, um, and that's the part we can export. So if it gets messy, you can chop it up.